change. When you talk to them individually, they seem to be ready. They want that change. Everybody within their closet, they want that change. But they don't want that, they don't want to come out to engage because it is when you engage, you put your concerns on the table. You put the, the politicians, whoever is seeking for your vote, you know, on the hot seats to understand that these people know what they want. And if I get into office, I'm not able to do that, they will be able to hold me accountable. So they do that in their closet. And when you ask, they give you a list of things. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about that. But can you come out as a group and engage so that you can have a blueprint and say, this is a plan that I hope that you will deliver for me to give you my vote. And that is one thing, again, that we need to really uh, get citizens to be involved in this. Because the whole process, if you look at the whole electoral value chain, it's actually about the citizens. It's not about those who get elected, those who get to um, enjoy the benefits of being elected and being in, in office. But the people sit down on their responsibilities. It is not enough to just say, I have the voter's card. It is not enough to say, I'm a citizen of this state. You should come up because this is the most important election. And unfortunately, I've seen that citizens engage, for instance, national elections much more than their subnational elections. The governorship elections, local government elections, are elections that citizens from that state should engage give uh, uh, manifestos, let the manifestos of candidates be derived from what you need as a citizen because you have engaged. But when you sit back and discuss in your closet, there's no way your candidate will understand um, what is happening. And that's why you see that at the end of the day, it's always about the people. Most of the candidates from Ondo State are really from a particular zone. So the people in the zone are saying, oh, it is our turn. It is our turn. Please let us forget what is happening. It, these people have done their own. They are not looking at the assessment from these people have done. Where did they get to? What is the foundation they have laid? What can we build on that foundation to help us get to where we are going? So we really need to call our citizens to be to be doing that. Because if you have, for instance, you have good policies, even the manifestos of the of the of, uh, politicians, citizens can take that manifesto and say, which part of this manifesto sits in with what I need as a citizen of this country, and begin to hold that uh, that government accountable. Let him make public promises, like well, they will definitely make those public promises, but ensure that you follow up and don't just go back to sleep because my person has been elected i tell you there's some people who have been elected from certain zones and there's no development even in that zone or even in that state but the person will come back another four years i remember um uh, one uh, one time i, I think uh, it was um in Edo state we had a governor then that didn't do very well and then the people were saying no this governor didn't do well and the father came out and said you know when you said the child to school he says allow him to repeat and people went ahead and, vo and, and voted for that person so we need to move away from that kind of mentality and know that the power is in our hands and every time i talk i keep talking about this thing that i, I learned when i was in Edo said when the leader will come to say Umana, lo, ya, uri, ya, i'm mm. sure austin understands uh, exactly what, what i mean if you are not loyal you, 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 you will suffer so you have these politicians during election they come to you and say oh, we are loyal we are this they navigate all the unnavigable places that you have because they want your vote but as soon as election comes so those, those places are hard to reach areas we cannot do that but during the campaigns they came to you and you couldn't hold them down to something that you want them to do at the end of the day they give you cola like where i come from they do shagwari for you they give you cola and it ends there at the end of the day because you have taken that cola because you have taken that money you are not able to hold them accountable that thing that you want them to do for you they will not do for you the next four years you start having that conversation in your closet it is time to come to the uh, town halls it is time we come out as groups like the medical groups teachers, even drivers, because roads are not motorable. Community people, people in Ayotoro, for instance, can decide to bring the candidates to their community and say, this is what is happening to our community. Give us your commitment on what you want to do, because in the next five years, in the next 10 years, we don't even know if you'll be able to come to our community to campaign. This is what we want you to do. And on the first day of inauguration, you begin to hold the person accountable that this is what you promised to do for us. Because if you don't do that, for instance, you, you we not expect other people, people who are living in Lagos, Abuja, to come to do it for you. Like they say, he or she who wears the shoe knows where it pinches. So if you know where it pinches, you, you need to hold those accountable that can help you to address. Talk that.